This is a brief overview of Scheduler, a timing software used for events such as church services, startup or stand-up events, or workout sessions. You can literally use this software for any event that needs to be timed. So we built this software because most of the timing software in the market right now are really simple. They are very, very simple and basic. And we believe that something a bit more sophisticated will go a long way in serving the customer. So let's load a schedule that we have already created. So we'll load sample schedule one. And to run a schedule, we start from an activity, I start from introduction and click run schedule. So our time is counting down. You have the current event up here, the time right here, and the next event right here. We have the control buttons down here. We can pause and resume. We can go to the next event and go to the previous event. We can add time on the fly. Let's add 10 minutes. We can subtract time on the fly. Let's subtract 5 minutes. We can also use keyboard shortcuts to control. If we use a space button, pause and resume. If we use the right arrow key, it navigates to the next event, the left arrow key to the previous event. Let's explore some other settings. If you go to settings, you can change the theme. For example, if I pick a purple color, go back and let me run from refreshments. Right there you see you see the team has changed. If we close this, let's change some other settings. Let's change the fonts. And then now run shadow. Right there you can change the font. Let's go back again and make some other changes. Let's see. We want to display only the current event title and the time. Let's run from Keynote now. Right there. Let's make some more settings changes. Let's say we want to count up instead of counting down. And then we run it again. Let's see what happens when an activity runs out of time. So right there, once the time is up, you have a time up text and you have the extra time being used counting as well. This helps in knowing the additional amount of time that the current activity or speaker is using for their event and then whenever the person leaves the stage or the activity is over you can go to the next event and continue let's go back and make a few more changes to the settings and we can decide to flash the time of text and then we can also decide to play sounds when the time is almost up for the last so right there you can see the time of text is flashing this helps in catching the attention 
a bit more, although the font is a bit uh, tiny. We will change it back later. And then if we want to extend to an external screen, we enable this. Once you do this and you run your schedule, your external screen will display the timer without even the controls. You will find a link to a display of how the external screen works in the description below. Now, after your events, you can actually analyze the time used of each activity. So if we come in here and say, okay, let's see, what time did each activity use? Okay, um, we've already run uh, a sample schedule a lot, but the idea behind the analysis is that you should be able to see this activity, the time it was given, the time that was actually used, and the extra time that it used as well. This helps you to analyze which of the activities for example if you're running a chart service and you're current constantly overshooting your time you, you can be able to easily say okay which activity is constantly taking our time the most the analysis helps you to do that so um, thank you for watching